my name is Jörg, and this is the first part of my series on how to paint videos. In this first series, I will show you how to paint a thousand point British Armour Battle Group for Blitzkrieg Commander 2. We'll start off by giving our Cromwell tanks an undercoat of black. You can buy a spray paint at your local hardware store, or you can use Games Workshop spray paints. After that, we paint our Cromwell tanks olive green. It doesn't have to be perfect, but be sure you don't forget those tiny spots. Moving on, we do a dry brush of light olive green. Make sure you let the details of the tank come out, but don't go too crazy with the volume of the dry brush. When I paint tracks, I use stone grey, which looks a little more natural than black at the scale. There are many ways on how to paint tracks, and you can use your own color schemes if you want to. Continue with the markings after that. Since my chrome walls are from the market garden era, I paint a yellow triangle on the turret. The vehicle marking on the hood is yellow, with a suggestion for a number in the form of black stripes. Don't forget the red box at the front of the tank, it was present on almost all British armored vehicles at the time. Moving on, we paint the details on the tank, such as the machine gun in the turret and the black tip on the end of the barrel, which suggests that the tank has already seen action. Finally, we apply weathering in the form of khaki, with a heavy dry brush at the lower section of the vehicle. And there you have it! It's not a painting wonder, but it sure looks good on the table. Make four more and you are one step further of making a thousand point British battle group. Next time I'll show you how to paint the infantry teams and the Vickers machine gun. For now, have fun and remember, keep painting.